Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So if you are new to my channel then please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever I push up a new video. So students before beginning with this video I would like to tell you all about a book which is known as Vedic Maths for All Ages. This book is great if you want to increase your basics of mathematics and the link of this book as well as the gadgets with which I am recording have been mentioned in the description below. So you can go ahead and check that out. Okay. So now let's talk about how to find factors of any given number. So basically what do I mean by factors? Factors are basically numbers which when divided gives remainder 0 okay so basically let's take for example if I want to find the factor of number 6 the first number which will divide number 6 is always 1 because 1 divides all the numbers okay and the number will always divide itself so you can also say that the other factor will be 6 itself now let's start finding out the remaining factors of number 6 so what is the number which comes after 1 is 2 so does 2 completely divide number 6 yes right 2 3s are 6 so basically I can say 2 is one of the factors of number 6. Now let's go to the next number which is what we've taken 1, we've taken 2. So the next number which comes is 3. So does 3 divide the number 6? Yes, it divides this number completely because we know 3 into 2 gets you 6. So we can say that the next number is 3. Okay, now if you want to check, we can check for 4 and 5 as well. But when you divide 6 by 4, you get a remainder which is 2. So that is not a factor. Because you want a number with which you divide 6, you get the remainder as 0. So that is not the case with 4, nor is the case with 5. Okay, so in this case, I can say 1, 2, 3 and 6 are the factors of number 6. Okay, now let's try and find out the factor of number 24 okay so here now again the first number with which we start is obviously always 1 because 1 divides all the numbers and we can also say 24 because we know every number is divisible by itself okay so now we start with the next number so after 1, after 1 what do we get is 2. Is 2 dividing 24? Yes, because 2 divides all even numbers and 24 is also an even number. So I can say 2 is a factor of 24. Now we'll check for the number which comes after 2. So here we'll check for 3. So let's see, we, 2 plus 4 is 6. And the divisibility test of 3 is what? Whenever you add the, all the digits, if the answer is divisible by 3, then the number is also divisible by 3. So here we get 2 plus 4 which is 6. So obviously 6 is divisible by 3. So here we can write 3. Now the next number after 3 which, come, which comes is 4. And we know that 4, 6 are 24. So we'll write 4. Then the next number which comes, to, which comes after 4 is 5. But 5 does not divide 24 completely. So here we will not write 5 as a factor of 24. Now let's go to 6. As we just spoke, 4, 6 are 24. So obviously, 24 is completely divided by 6. And also the divisibility test of 6 is nothing but any number which is divided by 2 as well as 3. So here, whenever you have a fa whenever you come across a number whose factors are 2 and 3, you have to by default write 6 because 6 will also divide that number completely. So here I'm writing 6. Then let's check for 7. Does 24 go into 7's table? No, it doesn't go because 7 3's are 21 and 7 8, 7 4's are 28. So 24 doesn't go. In Now let's check for 8. So here we know that 3 8's are 24. So obviously 8 completely divides 24. So we'll write 8 over here. 
now let's check for 9 so is 24 divided by 9 no 9 does not divide 24 completely it gives us a remainder so in this case we cannot write 9 over here now let's check for 10 is 10 dividing 24 completely no right now let's check for 11 so 11 ones are 11 and 11 twos are 22 and 11 threes are 33 so in that case 24 is not completely divided by 11 now let's check for 12 uh, 12 ones are 12 and 12 twos are you get as 24 students you might be wondering why didn't i go ahead of 12 the reason being whenever you have to find a factor of any number you have to find factors till it's till you reach its half okay after that you don't have to find any factors because as we know that 2 into 12 gets you 24 and anything lesser than 2 is 1 and so obviously we've also considered 1 over here as well so in that case you will just take factors up to its half okay but this was very simple because as these numbers are quite easy to understand okay and these tables are also something which all of you all know but what will happen when I give you a big number, let's say if you had to find uh, factors of uh, number, let's say number 48. If that was the case, then what you will do? So here I'm going to show you a trick with which you will never go wrong in finding factors of any number. Okay. So here first we do is we draw a line. Okay. Now let's start with our division. So first we know that any number is completely divisible by 1 and 1 words are 48 you get 1 48s are 48 correct now let's check for the next number which comes after 1 that is 2 and this number is even okay so here we write 2 and students here we'll divide 48 by 2 so what is the answer here we get 2 2s are 4 and 2 4s are 8 okay so here 2 into 24 will get you 48 so here what you will do is we'll write whatever the quotient you get on this side so in that way you will find all these factors in about half the time okay now let's check for 3 4 plus 8 is what 12 so 12 is divisible by 3 so i'm sure 3 is a factor of 48 now let's divide 48 by 3 so 3 ones are 3 so when you take 3 away from 4 you are left with 1 and let's take the 8 down so you are getting 18 so 3 6 are 18 so we can say 3 into 16 gets you 48 okay now let's check for 4 so 4 1s are 4 and 4 2s are 8 so we have taken 4 into 12 which is 48 now let's try for 5 but 48 is not completely divisible by 5 because the last digit is neither 0 nor 5. Okay. Students for understanding this divisibility, divisibility test, I have already made a video on the same. So if you want, you can go ahead and check on the link which is mentioned in the description and also it will be showing in the links above. Okay. Now go, let's check for 6. So we know that 48 is completely divisible by 2 and 3. So we are going to directly write 6. Okay. So now 6 words are 48. 6 eights are 48. Now as we know the next number which comes to 7. So 7 sevens are 49. So 48 is not divisible by 7. And then the next number which comes after 7 is 8. And 8 is already been taken care of. So I can now completely write that the... Factors of 48 is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48. Students, if you like this trick, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that encourages me to make these videos for you guys. Okay. Also, at the also I request all of you to stick to the end of this video because at the end of the video I'm going to write down a question for you all so whose answer you will mention in the comment section and I'll let you know whether you're right or wrong in case you're wrong I'll give you the explanation for the same as well okay now let's check the factors for number 108 okay so here again we'll put a line and the first factor is nothing but 1 and 1, 108, 1 into 108 gets you 108. 
Now, since one zero it is an even number, it is obviously divisible by two. So here we get two fifty four za one zero eight. Students, please understand if you are not very confident about dividing orally, you can use the traditional method of division as well. As much as you practice this division methods, you will then get the confidence of doing the division orally as well. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see for three. One plus zero plus eight gets you nine, so that is divisible by three. So let's see what happens when you divide one zero eight by three. You get thirty six. So three into thirty six gets you one zero eight. Now let's check for four. So four twenty seven zero gets you one zero eight. Now obviously two and three are factors of one zero eight. So I can directly write six, and I don't have to worry about five because the last digit is neither five nor zero. So I can directly write six over here. And when I divide one zero eight by six, I get eighteen. Now let's check for seven. So seven is not completely dividing one zero eight. Now let's check for eight. That also is not dividing. That also is not dividing one zero eight completely. So now let's check for. Nine, so nine one nine twelve zero gets you one zero eight. Now we'll check for ten. So obviously the last digit is not zero, so it does not divide one zero eight. And the divisibility test of eleven is nothing but difference between the sum of the odd digits as well as the even digits. So odd the sum of odd digit is nothing but one plus eight is nothing but nine, and you have to subtract it by zero. So the answer you get is nine, which is not eleven. If the answer was eleven, or if the answer was zero, only then the number is divisible by one zero eight. So here again, my divisibility test of eleven does not stick. Okay, now let's check for twelve. So here we can see twelve has already been mentioned, so you don't have to worry about anything else. So I can directly write down the factors of one zero eight, which is one, two, three, four, six, nine, twelve. Eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, fifty-four, and one zero eight. So, students, in this way, you can find the factors of any numbers in half the time. Okay, because this method is quite time-consuming. So, instead of that method, I request all of you all to use this method to find the factors of any number. So, now, as promised, I'll write down the question of. Whose answer you will be mentioning in the comment section? Okay, so here I want you all to find factors of eighty-four. Okay, so do go ahead and write down these answers in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. Also share share it with people whomever you think this might be very very helpful. Okay so that's it for this video i will see you in the next one thank you